have graced this hobo's hovel another time. Or Hobo Tom is off doing his hoboing. He has invited me to give some predictions. For I am the one and only. I am Dr. Tom. And I'm here to give two predictions to do two very different and distinct professional wrestling endeavors. The first one takes place, at least here, along the Florida coastline in the Eastern Standard Time Zone of 2 p.m. is coming from Saudi Arabia, the Super Showdown. And I have some predictions about that. So let's start off with some predictions. As far as the 50-man battle royal goes, who left who has not succeeded from WWE is left for this 50-man battle royal. But this is a loser locker room battle royal. Therefore, the one man of true integrity, I shall say, is Drew McIntyre, shall overcome all adversaries in this 50-man battle royal, and he shall prevail and go on to stomping grounds. I believe, yes. Drew McIntyre. This shall be my snooze match. This is snooze. This is where I begin to recharge myself for the rest of this athletic endeavorment. Where we have Lars Sullivan versus the Lucha House Party. I shall choose Lars Sullivan to go over and squash the Lucha House Party once and for all, and therefore he gets a proper push in the WWE. The next match we have two strong men. Indeed. Characteristics of the Greco Roman days of old. We have Braun Strowman. Versus one Bobby Lashley. I shall choose Braun Strowman, the true monster among men. Then we have Roman Reigns versus one Shane McMahon. It's obvious that the true grappler shall overcome in this event. And this shall be... Oh, no. no. The Roman Reigns shall prevail. Then we have Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Triple H. Versus one Randall Orton. Randy Orton prevails. In what I shall also qualify... As my match of the night. And then next for my Stone Cold Lock of the Evening. The Demon himself. Demon Balor. Versus Andrade Sin Almas. The Demon prevails. And retains his intercontinental title. And this is my stone cold lock of these matches. Then Kofi Kingston versus Adolf Ziggler. Kofi shall retain. This may advance the story of Dolph Ziggler. Or put Dolph Ziggler out to pasture again. Whichever way. Fine by me. Then we have Seth Rollins. The man who likes to turn things down. Versus one. Aaron Corbin.
This is my bonus, the bonus feature of this match. Baron Corbin shall win, but with the stipulation that Brock Lesnar comes out and cashes in. And he remains a constant distraction to Seth Rollins throughout the match, costing Seth the victory, but ultimately allowing Brock Lesnar to claim the WWE Universal Championship as he cashes in on Baron Corbin. And then in a Legends match, we have William Goldberg versus The Undertaker. The Undertaker still has the powers of necromancy at his side. So therefore, The Undertaker shall... Remember, there are some consequences to this. For if I get all of them correct, I, a learned individual of professional wrestling, will definitely know the inner workings of one Vince. However, all is not lost if I only get one or two wrong. To be inside the mindset of Paul Avec is still a very noble thing. Just above 50%? Again, Stephanie McMahon. To know the inner workings of her mind, that I will become. 50-50 booking. If I get 50% of my matches right, I might as well flip some peasant coin or one of these hobos poker chips. Yes, like something like this with two sides. How does one flip a coin with two sides? Only the hobo knows. Less than that. I am some smart. Ugh. To share the bleachers. The beer tackified. Bench with bubblegum. On the footwells. Ugh. Be with a commoner. And then, might be an off day. I might be a disinterested mark. Sleep through the whole event. That is Dr. Tom's Super Showdown predictions. Now, just like this rapscallion, let us take a break. Now for the second part of this athletic endeavorment. For there are multiple nights of wrestling that said Hobo will cover. We have a true sport of kings. We have New Japan's Dominion. Not quite sure when it's going to be. It's either going to be. Saturday, or Sunday at 3 a.m., or Saturday. At I will, of course, do the mathematics involved in crossing the international timeline. For you people who do not know what that is, it separates different time zones. You uneducated masses. So in this, again, from New Japan, the land of the rising sun, where culture reigns supreme and there's still codes of honor and ethics. Unlike certain filthy places like Daytona Beach, where you will not find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy like that of Daytona Beach. We have, so begin these wrestling matches, we have John Moxley. Versus Shota Umino. 
Moxley prevails. For he has just won the United States Championship. From what little studies I've done about New Japan Pro Wrestling, this shall be my stone cold lock of the evening. For why bother having this man of true dedication to his craft win the most a most prestigious belt like the United States Championship, only to lose it to some commoner? Oh. Then you have Satoshi Kojima versus Shingo Takagai. Relative unknowns. I shall, I shall state that Shingo Takagai prevails. And then, as common... With this, this shall be my snooze of the night. It's featuring Taguchi Japan versus the ruffians of the Bullet Club for life. The Bullet Club shall prevail, unfortunately. Then in a tag team match, we have the Grills of Destiny versus Evil. And Sonata, how can a man whose name is Evil actually lose any wrestling event ever? Evil and Sonata regain the tag team championship. And then for the never open weight championship, excellent name. We have Taichi versus Tomohiro Ishii. For the Stone Cold Pitbull prevails. Tomohiro Ishii or Ishii Tomohiro shall prevail. You have Dragon Lee versus Will Ospreay. Dragon Lee retains that belt. Do you not know if that will be? No. The next one. Then in my match of the night, Kota Ibushi shall take on Tetsuya Naito. And for this, Tetsuya Naito will again once once again become the Intercontinental Champion. Tetsuya san shall prevail. And this shall be the match of the night. And then in the main event of the evening, the culmination of all of these, all this blood, sweat, this muscle, this toil and tribulations, Kazuchika Okada. Versus Chris Jericho. Kazuchika Okada retains the New Japan Heavyweight Championship belt. For this, New Japan goes along the path of Bushido, the path of the straight and narrow. There will be no funny business going on. So there shall be no bonuses awarded. Yes, that's the most accurate description and predictions for the matches of this week's end. Again, you can follow Hobo Tom if you take a look at the credits at the very end. And he does give out his Hobo rewards. But what is this? Is this a Hobo dollar? This is a coupon. Who uses coupons to purchase fine fermented beverages? Only a hobo will. Disgusting, vile person he is. But again, on behalf of Hobo Tom, I thank you for watching this video. 
And you shall see Hobo Tom tomorrow at 2 p.m. for Super Showdown and sometime for Dominion. I'll let him figure out the finer details. Probably much more vastly important things.